question. We do have some guests that are joining us in the waiting room. You know, let's see if we can add them in. Uh, we have a very, very prominent and popular artist joining us. Today, we're going to have Glitzy join us. We also have uh, BR, oh, B2R Stunner in the audience, too. So let's let's add him to the Midday Live Show, guys. Hey, uh, Glitzy, Glitzy, what's hey. going on? What's cracking? What's going on? Welcome to the what's show. Up, Welcome to the up? show, man. I just want to say, I just felt like for a minute I was watching Sports Center. Hey. <laughs> yeah, they're good at what they yeah, do. They're good at what they do. How are you feeling today? How are you feeling today? Man, a little, a little tired. I've been at the studio for three days straight. I uh, went to sleep at like seven in the morning. So. Oh, okay, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. We we, we like uh, a, we like a yeah, working uh, artist. We like a working artist. B two R, B two R, Stunner with the ski mask. That's my artist. I signed him to my label, so I told him, you know, I mean, I would have told all my artists to join, but I really trust him the most. Me, he was the one at the studio with me, so I was like, I'm gonna let you join my interview, talk talk your little stuff and stuff like that. <laughs> We appreciate that. Yeah, thank you both of you for joining us here on the Midday Live Show. We like to entertain. We love to inform. And of course, we love to debut. I, I don't want to call it an upcoming artist, my man, because you're already established. You got it going on. Your Instagram is popping too. You've had a few articles written about you. You you do the YouTube thing. You do the social media thing on lock. Um, if it's cool with you guys, let's dive into these questions. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Question number one for me. Thank you again for joining us here on the Midday Live Show. My name is Steve Styles. I'm a DJ. I'm audio tech. I do all types of things with media myself. And I'm so curious about your creative process, being the fact that you do a lot of social media, a lot of content creation. Are you the type of person to film and record all your content within one day and then spread it out and post? Or do you just create your content as you go and then create a post? Uh, well, that's the crazy thing. I got so much content that I haven't posted, but it's all for a reason. Uh, my my manager and my label, they always taught me timing is the key. So, I mean, I always, I always keep something left hidden inside a folder for my fans, and I drop it at the right time. But as of right now, my, uh, I don't know if you guys noticed, I changed my hair color and stuff, so it is a reason why I haven't dropped certain content because it it would be like I could have sworn his hair was just red yesterday, and he just dropped a video of black hair. You see, so it's like I, I kind of mellow things out and wait for the best time to post certain things. That's good marketing, man. That's good marketing. I'm glad to see that you kind of understand both sides of the game, the production and the marketing aspect right. of it. Because I tell you, bro, we we in the game, man. We we meet artists all of the time, bro. And it ain't enough just to be in the studio. You feel me? You you do gotta understand the mark when to drop and how to drop it, and understand having that relationship with your audience, man. But um, right. me me personally, bro, I got a question for you. You feel me? It, it ain't on the list, but I just had to ask you, bro. I was listening to some of your stuff this morning, bro. I, I noticed that you had a song with uh with 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 with, with Cowboy. <laughs> how, how, was that, that, how, was, how, how, how was that, man? How was that, man? Having an artist like Cowboy on one of your songs, man. I was listening to it flex. It, it go hard too, bro. I like the way it sounds, yeah. man. Yeah. You know what I mean, I got a roommate, bro. He, he was liking the way it sounded too. You feel me? So. <laughs> How, how was that, you know what I'm saying, being able to have a song with Cowboy like that, man? Oh, well, I'm going to say it was, I was surprised, honestly, because me being a rapper, um, when I came in the game, it was really me thinking, like, all right, I'm from Chicago. Let me reach out to all the Chicago artists and see who want to do a feature. But I started getting all types of wild prices, and I'm like, I don't got that type of money, you know, like I'm just starting. But what lots of people don't know, I have a very famous uncle in the music industry who reached out to all the artists in Chicago that's already celebrities. And he got me features with all of them. And before the interview ends today, I'm going to play a snippet of a Polo G feature that I also have that will be dropping soon. So, I mean, it's like 
<laughs> being on, I mean, I'm never, I've never been a fan. So it's, I mean, I like the music, but I was taught to never be a fan of anybody but yourself. So me getting that feature with him, I was happy because lots of people like him, but I'm not gonna say I was amazed, you know. That's what I was gonna say. Actually, after listening to the track, man, like I'm a fan of Cowboy too, bro. But I'll be all the way a hundred with you, bro. You held your own, bro. Like the song was solid. You feel me? Without him, you feel me? That's what I was like. Oh, okay. Like this man got a future or whatever. And I, I could tell you, you know, what I'm saying you mentioned your uncle. You, you, you know what? How the game is played. You know, there's a lot of connections and stuff like that. That's important in this game too, bro. Oh yeah. I was listening. Oh, yeah. I was listening to your sound, bro, and I was like, bro, don't nobody really sound nothing similar to him. You know what I'm saying? He got his own kind of original sound or whatever, man. And I was really rocking with that, bro. How, how you kind of came up with that sound, man? Was it like a trial and error thing, or this just you? This just who you are? Uh, man, I'm not. I'm gonna really say I use that sound because. I was trying to really sing and match the vocals with Cowboy and switch it up throughout the song to show people my flow can change in multiple ways. Because I went from singing to hardcore rapping. Like, I, I started that singing, then I went to the part. I get my life up in this, too. Addicted to the mic like glue. You feel me? Like, I just kept switching it up just to show people, like, I'm really talented, you feel me? I got a few singles that's just like that. So it's like, I'm not going to say that's my sound. I'm going to say my sound is the uh, the newest song I just dropped, which I'm going to uh, send you guys the link also. The show, man. Yeah, we look forward to that, man. We, we like to stay in touch with, with artists that touch down on the show, man, for sure, man. We love what you're doing out there. You sign another artist too, man. You open the door for other people, man. We respect that a lot. Respect that a lot, man. For sure. For sure, man. Yeah, that's really dope. It's like your whole career is like this one thing. But something that I wanted to ask you, uh, again, thank you, Glissy, for joining us today on the show. Um, one thing I wanted to ask you is another part that maybe some people don't really know about you. Um, you can see it, of course, on your Instagram, your social media, uh, reading some articles about you, but you also act. So I wanted to ask you, like, how has that been so far, your acting journey so far? And what, what would you like to do as far as acting this year in 2020? Um, I heard you guys touching on a very important topic, which is uh, the vaccine, yeah. Um, my acting career has been a huge success. I appreciate every TV show and movie that I participated on. It's very fun. I mean, it's not that hard. Just don't look at the camera. Don't look eye to eye with the camera. <laughs> right. It's, 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 it's fun for the most part. Um, most of the celebrities that you get around in the acting world, they're not Hollywood. You know, if they see that you putting in the work and you got a role where you where it does allow you to sit next to them, then you know, conversate uh, network. Um, I'm gonna say, for me, it the only reason why they were Hollywood at one point was because when I first started acting, I was an extra, so it's like. What we were taught on set is the extras sit with the extras and the main actors sit with the main actors. So I understood that. So I just had to keep putting in work until I found myself eating with the main actors. And they was like, yeah, they was like, you should have been over here. Like, we, we really love your vibe. And I was like, man, y'all don't know how long it took me. I was like, but I'm here now. That's what matters. So, I mean, it's a... It's, um, it's good, but the only bad thing, and I don't want nobody to get discouraged out there if you guys want to become an uh, actor, but the only bad thing, in my opinion, is trying to talk your stuff, like hype people head up, like I'm on a TV show, I'm on a movie, and you know you got to wait weeks and months for it to come out. That's like the only bad thing. But when it come out, though, but when it come out, though, when it when finally drops. Out. Oh man, I know that that feeling is amazing, man. I know it's amazing. Uh, I, I watch myself amazing. on TV. I wake up, and every day, I lots of the times I do feel discouraged. I go through lots of problems uh, in this entertainment business, but I always make sure to start my day. I turn on my TV, 
movie and I go to a I TV show, a TV show I, I play it on and I sit there and look at how handsome I am and I keep it going. <laughs> that's not that's I heard that matters, that. Right? I heard that cuz hey look sometimes you gotta brush your own shoulder, you know so I heard that man. But hey look, we see you doing big right. big things on the business tip too, man. I see that you brought your artist in today, man. You wanna go ahead and introduce him or something, man? Tell us about him too. Uh, Oh uh, yeah, I'll give him a little brief introduction. My artists don't My talk artists like don't that for real. It's it's lots it's, of it's lots of lots of lots stress he goes through too. But I mean I'ma I'm let him do a little talking, my boy. B2 I stunner. My label is Born to Rise, but we say BTR for short. So uh Born to Rise Records, we named it that because no matter if we're going through depression, pain, no matter what it is, we always gonna rise. No matter. So I mean, he. I'm gonna say I met Stunner mostly on the jury side. Um, he was somebody I used to have an app called Ubo. Uh, I was downloading an app called Ubo, and I used to be live on Instagram. And he used to always join, but I didn't know who it was. And then I seen him on Ubo one time. I had lots of views. I noticed his name. I'm like, let me get him up here real quick. We was doing the talent show. So I asked him, did he have any talent? But he didn't say anything. So I'm like, you don't talk to nothing? But then I'm looking at him, like I'm staring at him for a second. I'm like, yo, you look, he look like Stunner for Vegas. And then he was like, yeah, he said, you hilarious, bro. I'm like, no, nah, I'm serious. I, like, I got a marketing plan I can put behind you as far as Stunner for Vegas. I'm like, I actually know the real Stunner for Vegas. So I'm like, I'm going to ask Stunner for Vegas if it's cool that you play, like, his cousin role or his twin role to market you. And then he was like, cool. Like, Stunner for Vegas said yeah, cool. And... I didn't know he was really, I didn't know Stunner was really into jury like that because, you know, when people get signed, that's usually what they spend their money on or they invest in themselves. So when Stunner got signed, I started to notice like he was going crazy on jury. But the crazy thing is it was not even just jury. Stunner was like, um, he actually knew how to invest too. So I'm like, yeah, you definitely. You definitely are. Um, we can definitely get you in some great things. Um, his Instagram is definitely lit and active. He posts his jury, he has Rolexes, lots of and lots of lots of good things that can catch people's eyes. And you know, every time I make songs in the studio, whether it's on FaceTime, Clubhouse, Ubo, whether it's just me and him in the room, he won't leave. You know, he'll sit there memorize the song after my first time rapping it like it's like that's literally almost impossible but he told me like he's a spiritual person and he really can feel the energy in my music so it's like the, as many times as he sat there and memorized my lyrics after the first time of me rapping it i just kind of seen how he was riding for me so i was like yeah this this definitely gonna be the person so i mean Stunner, if you want to um touch up on anything or say what's up, you can go ahead. What's going on? What's good, man? What's good, man? Welcome to the show, man. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Glad to have you, bro. Glad to have you, bro. So, hey, go, man, go ahead and introduce yourself. I know he introduced you. I know he introduced you for you, but we want to hear you speak, bro. Go ahead and tell us about you. Tell us about your music, man. Tell us when you started all of that, man. Mm. Yeah, my name is Vitor Stunner. I'm from New York. Grew up in Alabama. Okay, okay, okay. What's your, what, what would you say your style of music is, man? You more into like the down south, the dance type music, or you more into the up north with the lyrics and all of that? I listen to everything, man. I listen to everything. Yeah, he don't make music, but he more of a support system type stuff. He do TikTok. Oh, oh, okay. I see what's going on here. All right, all right, all right. I see y'all, y'all the team then. Y'all the team. Okay, okay, okay. So y'all play different roles. I understand that now. I get what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. okay. I, I, 
All right, hey, look, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. You way better, both of y'all, man. Y'all, you way better off with a team in this game, bro. Everybody, everybody need a team in this game, bro. Everybody need, you know what I'm saying, so a supporting cast for sure, including, you know what I'm saying, us three. We are each other's supporting cast, you feel me? And I'm glad that, you know what I'm saying, some, some young black men, you feel me, know how to work together and know how to support each other, bro. That's that's good, you feel me, because we could use a lot more of that. To be honest, ain't none of us about to do it by ourselves anyway, you know what I'm saying? So. I love I love to see that you feel me and I love to see that y'all serious about what y'all yeah. do, man. Love to see that y'all taking it serious, man. I love to see that y'all having fun doing it. You know what I mean? So, bro, stay on y'all grind, man, and, and stay cool with each other too, man. I know that's a lot to try to say. I see little partnerships and stuff like that break up every day, man. But if you can stay mm -hmm. solid, man, y'all mm -hmm. take each other to the top. You feel me? Keep each other motivated. You know what I mean? So, I love to see it, man. Switch, my boy. <laughs> I love to see it, man. I love to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so then I got a question for both of you. What what um, upcoming collaborations or do we have anything to look forward to within the next month or two? Any releases from both uh, Stunner and yourself, Glitzy? Um, yeah, I was uh, I was on the radio um, the other day and I was giving out the names of the celebrities that I got on the upcoming album. And something that stood out to me, somebody that was watching the radio interview, they had texted my phone and they was like, stop it. Like, <laughs> don't spoil it. So I'm going to give y'all a hint, though. Um, I, I mean, I already said Apollo G, obviously. But I'm going to just say this next album that I'm about to drop is called Industry Mode. And it, um, every artist on it is a major celebrity and they're verified on Instagram and all of the platforms. So I named it Industry Mode because me doing features with all of these famous artists is supposed to be putting me higher in the doors and preparing me for the, I feel like a B-list celebrity. I'm not too cocky to say A-list. I'm a C-list celebrity right now, but this is definitely, I'm gonna just say B-list because me personally, I don't know if I want to be an A-list celebrity because what the game inquires and what comes with it. So, I mean, you never know how far you're willing to go in the industry, but B-list celebrity means, like, I say about um, not Polo G. He, he's an A-list. I say about Cowboys level, Lizzie Osama's level, like some slight, like you know, 2K, 2K Babies, babies level, level, stuff like that. Stuff like that. Yeah, I, and both I, I great artists that. in them. Oh, right. oh, I hear that. I hear that. And we familiar with Stunner Folk. You know what I mean? We done been, met him, been around him. We familiar with Cowboy. I'm real familiar with Cowboy and his entourage. We done been around them. And like, hey, bro, I, I see the potential in you for sure. You know what I'm saying? I see the potential, my boy. So just, you feel me? Keep grinding and don't stop, bro. For real, for real. Sure. Yes, yes, definitely keep us in the, the midday live show. Don't forget about us. We here. You always come back, bro. You're welcome here anytime, every time, man. for sure. Appreciate that. Yes, definitely send your music. We'll get that on our rotation. We'll play a song every week. So, hey, yeah. Just hit yeah. me up. You got my email. We we in contact. We in touch. So, yeah, we would love to keep in touch with you guys. Play your music, and yeah, just keep spreading, keep spreading the love in this industry, and especially in Chicago, because I'm sure, as you know, growing up in Chicago is just it's different. The support uh, is not always there. Uh, I think so. It's a, it's a bunch of snakes. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. just to add on to what Jazz was saying too. Jazz was saying too. We would like to support, you, like guys to support you guys any way we can. Way we can. Let us know. Let we us can help know. you with some sort of promotion. promotion. With a short two-hour delay, two -hour I'm going to send you a copy of your copy interview, your and interview. then we're going to get on the iHeartRadio app, Spotify, Spotify and distribute it correctly, all right? Appreciate that. Always. Always. Yeah. Of course. But, uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So there's anything else that you want to say um, if you wanted to play a snippet of your song or if you just wanted to tell everybody where they can find your music and where to follow you guys on social media then yeah let everybody know where they can find you guys and your music all right but i mean i'll play a little snippet and i'm gonna touch up on that too um uh, 
You want to find my music? Uh, you can search up Glitzy, G L I T Z Y. If you want to uh, look up, it's a very major platform called Genius, where all celebrities' music, like their lyrics, is uploaded at. If you want to find me on Genius and look at all my lyrics, it is Glitzy with two eyes. My Instagram is the real glitzy with two eyes, and oh uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I mean, I'm gonna let Stunner say his Instagram, and then I'm gonna play uh, a snippet of this Polo G feature. Well, y'all gotta have me on Instagram B two R Stunner B two S T A A A. For sure, for sure. So. I'm going to just play. I don't really, I don't want to get in trouble by my manager, but I'm going to say it. Yeah, hey, hey, don't get in trouble, bro. Right? Nah, 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 I'm not, I'm not. Side for my brothers, I'm going to slide for my brothers, I'm going to slide for my brothers. Track took me to your friend just like an interview. Asking for a chain when you see my Google revenue. Send me in these articles, so liberal, I'm not out of you. Management like school, so I'm finna grab my schedule. Blunts fix the pain, so I guess this is my medical. Making 20k a week, but waiting for the decimal. Right. Look up in the sky. Lord, I'm asking for forgiveness. Bring me up, please, when I die. So that's that's the crazy that's thing. Crazy. Lots of people Lots seen of people that song. That song. Polo G did drop a snippet of that song for my brothers on Instagram and YouTube, but he never actually released the song. And that's because at the last minute, my manager had reached out to them and was like, please don't drop it. Like, let me get him on there. And we got lucky. So, I mean, <laughs> I got that hey, feature. So Hey, that sounds like a hit. Mm -hmm. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. You know, I don't even talk like that, bro. But we be around a lot. That sound like a hit, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. That sound like a hit, bro. Hey. Appreciate yeah, that just that. tell you what the whole project gonna hey. sound like, you know? Hey. Oh, yeah. Like hit, yeah. Any I'm art, any celebrity bro. artist y'all can think of that y'all are listening to mainly on a daily basis or weekly basis, I promise you they all on it. I promise you. Look forward to it, man. And, and shout out to Clubhouse because I got some features through Clubhouse, really like late at night, three in the morning type activity in the live, just rapping by myself. People just join and I'm like, that's not the real celebrity, but they come up like, dude, yes, I am. I'm like, no, you're not. I get, I DM them on Instagram, like, you're lying. They DM me back. I'm looking at the verified check mark, like, you bought that. It's cap. You bought it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's him. It's, it's really them. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Well, thanks for coming by the show, man. Anytime you want to come back, bro, just let us know for sure, man. Uh, for sure. That's Ten cool. toes. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, as I say, yeah, send me over some music. We'll make sure we get it in rotation. And as you said, you're welcome back anytime. Thank you both for joining us today. We appreciate it. Great. Round of applause I for the artist. Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Good energy. Good thank energy here on the Midday you. Live Show. Yeah. Thank you again, guys. And to those watching us, too, be sure to hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe. We're dishing out videos every Friday because we're live every Friday, just like today, 12 to 2, here in the lovely city of Chicago.